My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, the gospel passage that we will be reflecting on is from the gospel according to Matthew, chapter 22, verses 1 to 14. In this particular gospel passage, Jesus narrates a parable, the parable of a king inviting those dear and close to him for a wedding feast and how it was so contemptuously rejected and the consequence of it. If we were to look at this particular parable of the king inviting uh, all his close and near and dear ones for the wedding feast, we find that there is this summon given to the invitation that was already there. So it was in this Jewish custom that the invitation was already given and when the invitation is given, the time is not mentioned. And only when things are ready that the summon is given to everybody, those who had been invited to come over to the wedding feast. And so what we find here is that those who had been invited contemptuously reject to come for this wedding feast. And Jesus, in narrating this parable, is directing it to God's chosen people. The invitation had gone out long before. We see this in the Old Testament. God preparing his chosen ones, chosen people, to accept the invitation when his son comes. And what we notice is this, that the chosen people of God contemptuously have rejected the Son of God. And therefore, the invitation goes to those who absolutely did not expect to be invited. And we see also, as we read along this parable, a particular verse, verse 7, which speaks of complete destruction, which please, speaks of the burning of the city, which speaks of punishment, the king destroying the entire city of those people whom he had invited but had rejected his invitation. This particular gospel, the gospel of Matthew, was written between 80 and 90 AD. And before that, what had happened? Before that, the Roman Empire laid a siege to Jerusalem and destroyed it completely, destroyed the temple brick by brick, so much so that a plow could be drawn across it. This is to say that God's chosen ones after having received the invitation, decided not to go for it. This is on a local scale. But when we take this gospel passage on a broader scale, we see what is this invitation all about? What we understand from this gospel passage, from this gospel parable that Jesus is narrating is this, this God's invitation is an invitation to joy. In any wedding feast, there is so much of joy and God's invitation is to joy, to happiness. That is what his invitation is all about. More than anything else, it is this invitation to joy. And therefore, we must not think of Christianity and Christian living as giving up the beautiful things of life, as giving up the happy things of life, as giving up those things which give us joy. It is an invitation to joy, to live this life with great joy. That is the invitation that God extends to you and to me. When we look further, what we notice in this particular parable is that these people who had been invited are completely deaf to the invitation that God gives them. It says, the, the, God, the parable says, one went off to his estate, one went for some other work and things like that. And if you were to look at it closely, all these activities that these people are, some going to the farm, some going to the estate, some going about some other works, are perfectly good, perfectly okay. There's nothing wrong in, it, in, in itself. But what went, what they missed or what went amiss is this, that they were being invited to a greater thing. They were so busy with the nitty-gritty and the humdrum things that they were doing that they failed to listen 
to the voice of god's invitation we can be so busy so immersed with and so much surrounded by so much of noise of this world that we fail to listen to the soft voice of god's invitation invitation to his love invitation to partake of his happiness and goodness and what we also notice in this particular gospel passage is that jesus he offers himself completely he offers himself completely to us it is to this that we are called but what we notice is that those who had been invited as i mentioned before contemptuously refuse it and therefore what is this uh, to whom does this invitation go to therefore this invitation goes to those on the by lanes those on the streets those who totally did not expect to be invited those if one might say did not actually deserve to be invited this invitation goes out to them it can happen that we are so much caught up with the things of this world caught up with the invitations of this world that we may find ourselves in the lot of those who refused to listen to to respond to this invitation of god and those who were invited as i said absolutely did not expect to be invited did not really deserve to be invited and so what does this invitation of god become this invitation of god is an invitation to grace freely given without any cost and to freely partake of this this is what it brings us to this particular parable it brings us to see this that god's invitation is an invitation to joy god's invitation is to a something supreme all that we are engaged in all that we are doing all that we are going about it's good but god invites us to something supreme and we must remember and realize this this invitation is pure grace something that actually we do not absolutely deserve but it is to this that he invites us and so my dear brothers and sisters as we reflect continue to reflect on this parable on this gospel passage may it bring us to realize that god is inviting us to great joy that god is inviting us to something supreme that god though we are unworthy of it though we are we, though we are not expected to be there but god invites us his calculations and his reason is totally different may god bless us all